There is a dire situation on the other side of the world that is having a big impact on a community of Minnesotans. A warning, the images are graphic. A drought is causing devastation in Somalia, a country about 70,000 Minnesotans call their homeland. Every minute, a severely malnourished child is admitted to a hospital there. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how all Minnesotans can step up to help support the people of Somalia in their time of need. And let's look it up with no refrigerated. Somali culture is Minnesota culture. The outside of Africa, this is the biggest festival that we have going on here. But right now, celebration has turned to sadness. Somalia is suffering extreme heat, starvation, and a deadly drought. These images are just heartbreaking. I think every Somali, wherever they live, they live with the pain. We spoke with a St. Paul imam and law professor who is from Mogadishu. You have two big challenges. Number one, not enough aid coming. And number two, if it comes uh, blocked by those merciless uh, group of al-Shabaab, they just uh, did uh, attack on civilians uh, just a week ago. He says insurgents are blocking aid. His hope is that the U.S. and U.N. will strengthen the country's army so they can fight back and that the people of Minnesota will have their neighbors' backs and donate relief. And so I am needed more here now because of my skills. We talked with a Minneapolis resident who is on the ground now in Somalia to help the government. And there is a major famine in Somalia. Um, global warming is actually real in Somalia. You would see animals, you know, on the side of the street you know, die because of, of, of lack of water or lack of food. Amidst the images that are so wrenching, she also sees rebuilding. Even though all those other things are happening, at the same time, because there is hope. She says there is hope. Now, I know our WCCO viewers, so many of you have big hearts and want to help in situations like this. The imam I talked with says it is important to find a trustworthy organization to donate to, to try and get aid to these people who are suffering. They suggest helping Minnesota-based group, the American Relief Agency for the Horn of Africa. You can donate to that local-based group by going to wcco.com slash links.